Blueberry, and this is my clubhouse, and this is my periscope. Come on with me on a super fun adventure. Hey, Blueberry, I heard you were having trouble making your balloons float. That's where helium comes in. So helium is way lighter than air, which is what makes them float right up to the top. But we're gonna talk about that and some other gases today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this helium balloon and we're gonna put it inside of some liquid nitrogen. Now this liquid nitrogen is so cold, it's negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. And so when we put our balloon inside, that liquid nitrogen is cooling the helium so, so cold that it becomes a liquid, but when we take it out, it transforms back into a gas and floats. We're in the Delta, and the Delta is a very unique and different kind of area. Sometimes in order to understand the Delta, you have to be from the Delta just to kind of understand the culture and the people. We all need you right now, God. So much killing, so much balance, so many heartbreak, Lord. The only excitement that you could get is mischief and stuff like that. I've been depressed. I'm actually still depressed, but you see how I come to school and I smile. There's really no option for like the angsty young poet or like the angsty young artist or the angsty young rapper. Ooh, 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 ooh. I mean, look at me. I'm a child. No adult, no, no government, no nothing's gonna listen to me. Not unless I come out with a big statement. I don't I want to be that one that could have done something. I want to be that one that did do something. We've neglected the public school system for over 30 years, and now it's coming back to haunt us. You want to go for high school? You get tired of struggling. I'm ready to make a change. And the kids bought the philosophy that art can create change, that art can allow it more expression, that art can help people stand up for themselves. That's why I say, bro, it's just like me and you against the world, fool. Don't nobody want to see us shine, but bet we gonna shine regardless. Blacksmithing has become a lost art but we use it every single day and still look at it as an extremely valuable part of, of what we do. It's something from the old, from way back. There's not a book that you can go read that will tell you how to produce the things that are produced at Urban Ford. It takes a craftsman to do something like this, to make everything look natural. Being in a creative environment like Urban Forge, it's very inspiring. Whenever I told him I was going to the Ironworks, a couple of my friends were worried because it's obviously not the easiest line of work in the world. Seems like every other day there's something new to be learned here. It takes a lot of patience to become a blacksmith. Every swing of that hammer has to be intentional. And it's coming from the mind of a person who's trying to move this thing into shape. We don't want anything going out of our shop that looks like it could have been fabricated in mass. We want it to have the look and the feel of a handmade work of art. It's time for Civics in a Minute. Have you ever found yourself having to make a hard decision between two objects places, or people? It's important to ask ourselves what we already know about our choices and think and learn about which is the best choice. I remember Dr. King uh, saying that even though the law can't make a man love me, it can make him stop lynching me, and that's important. So we begin to change the policies. Well, a police department should change its policies, and even though uh, a no-knock warrant entry may be legal, uh, it's not moral and it's not safe. There, there are safer ways to execute that uh, a warrant in that situation, especially when we're talking about a nonviolent non drug offense. And so if we change the policy, then maybe we have somebody like Breonna Taylor who gets to live. Or if we reimagine the way we think about policing and uh, obviously, you know, there are tasks that 
uh, police officers have to face that they're not necessarily equipped to face. And it, it's, it's too much on the officer. And one example is mental health. And you have people who have, are dealing with mental health crises, and we need people who are trained to go into those situations. Let's get to today's math topic, and that is ratios. And really, ratios are just, it's a relationship between two quantities or two different things. Let's say I had a box with 40 french fries in it. Can you figure out how many ketchup packets I would need? Well, we can, because if I just multiply by four, 10 times four is my 40 french fries. Well, if I have one ketchup packet for every 10 french fries, then for 40 french fries, I can use four ketchup packets. Next time on Blueberry's Clubhouse. I don't have a song to sing for the Jamboree today. Ooh. Every time I think of myself getting up on stage, I just imagine myself freezing with fear. Everyone freezes on stage sometimes. Even Papa Ram. They thought he was gonna bomb for sure. Max, hola, how are you? Do you know who I am? What you're missing is the secret ingredient. Secret ingredient? Huh? The show must go on, Max. Max is scared to perform, but I think she'll do all right. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. 